Hi, welcome to the syllabus tutorial for History 102-90, World Civilizations II. My name is Dr. Michael Bardot, and I will be the instructor for this course. Listed on the syllabus are my office hours, my e-office hours, which are Mondays and Wednesdays, 12 o'clock to 1.30. As we look at the syllabus, I would like to point out a few things. First, um, I would like to point out our learning objectives. This course is designed to help students develop certain skills through the assignments that are listed. We hope to achieve uh, competency and critical thinking skills that will enhance students' skills as writers, readers, and listeners. We also hope to provide a general knowledge of history and culture concerning the development of world history from 1600 to the present. I personally hope to help students gain an understanding of the importance of past events and the effects and the effects that past events have upon current events, trends, and mentality. There will be some primary source documents available for students to read and use in the successful completion of a few writing assignments. And last but not least, we hope to develop critical assessment and synthesis skills that will enable students to write essays and papers on specific topics. Course responsibilities include uh, providing ample time to read the online textbook source materials and to integrate one's notes from the lectures with that source material. Also, we hope to provide a knowledge base for students that they can successfully complete the weekly quizzes that, are, um, that assess material covered in lecture and textbook, as well as to complete three multiple choice exams approximately every five weeks. We will also read three contemporary works of fiction written at the time periods of the different topics that we will be studying, and we will use those as sources for contextual paper assignments. The big key to achieving success in this course is, of course, time management and proper study habits. This course consists of PowerPoint lectures, video files, and other resources that can help a student in their understanding. The way that I've broken down the course is by section module, and each section module will contain the assignments and papers that are due within the time frame of that module. Also required of students is a module blog or class discussion that will require participation one time per week. We will also have quizzes, those assignment papers that I've mentioned, and those three multiple choice exams. I believe that some of the key attributes that students need in order to be successful is first and foremost in an online class one needs to be an independent learner who is self-motivated and self-disciplined. One should also be willing to commit six to eight hours a week in an online course to not only review the materials online but also to integrate one's notes and understanding with the source materials through different sources. Obviously, for an online course, a student should have access to a computer on a regular basis and should try their best to stay on top of the assignments and keep up in the class. Now, our online resources consist of a couple of open source websites. One is called uh, the Lumen Learning Center, which houses the boundless online resource materials. Secondly, there's another website called American Yawp, which can provide some additional information on some of those topics that are not covered adequately in the boundless materials. As part of our writing assignments, there are three required readings. The first is a book by Voltaire, which is entitled Candide. That is available both in print as well as online. If you want to find it online, I recommend accessing Project Gutenberg. It's available there. Our second book for section number two would be Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. That is also available at Project Gutenberg, but also available in print at many libraries and uh, Amazon and other discount book sellers. Our last source is called uh, All Quiet on the Western Front by Enrique Remarque. That is available at a particular website. The text of the book is available at myteacherspages.com, the website listed on the syllabus. It can also be purchased if a student wishes in print form at many uh, discount booksellers and is available in many libraries. 
working through the actual nuts and bolts of the assignments of the class, one of the first uh, assignments that we have is a weekly participation slash discussion section that will consist of 10% of the final grade. There's an additional 50 bonus points available if a student completes all uh, completes 10 weeks, the first 10 weeks of the discussion requirement. So basically the way it works out is if you complete the first 10 weeks, you will receive 1% per week, which is basically 10 points. And if you complete all 10, then you will receive an extra 50 bonus points to be factored into your grade. We will have three exams, which are multiple choice exams based on uh, the quizzes that are taken each week. These um, quizzes, these multiple choice exams, will total anywhere from usually 50 to, to 70 questions, and they will comprise 30% of the grade. At this same time, I will also make available three different sets of bonus essays, one for each exam. If a student wishes to complete the bonus essays, they will once again total some bonus points. The largest part of the grade are the three essays slash papers that are required based on our primary readings. Each paper is worth 15% each, and it comprises 45% of the overall grade. In Canvas, there will be posted instructions that will further help students understand what the assignment is and the rubric that is to be used with it. Um, of particular note, perhaps, is a late submission of the paper that will result in a penalty of one half letter grade every day that it is late, including weekends and holidays. I try to grade all papers within a three to four day time period of the assignment's due date, and we'll have those grades submitted within Canvas for students to take a look at. We will also have weekly multiple choice quizzes that will cover both multiple choice and true and false. These quizzes will cover information from the textbook, source material, and from the lectures. Each quiz is worth approximately 1%. Uh, All 15 weeks quizzes will be worth 15% of the final grade. And so just to quickly break it down, we have three exams worth 10% of the grade each, three three to five page papers on the three primary source books, Candide, Frankenstein, and All Quiet on the Western Front, each of them worth 15%. We will have the class discussion, which is worth 10% with the possibility of an additional 5% in bonus points. And we have our weekly quizzing, which will constitute 1% a week, or uh, for 15 weeks, which equals 15%. Uh, the sections taken on academic integrity and on Title IX and student services for students with disabilities are taken directly from the Student Handbook of Lincoln University, and I provide them here for additional information. Lastly, we have listed a schedule of tentative topics. Uh, we will start with a brief introduction and then take a look at what I call the age of discovery and reformation, working our way through, hopefully, until the Cold War, which takes us up to recent history. Uh, last but not least, uh, in terms of contacting me, the most efficient way to contact me is by email. I check my email quite a few times per day, and during my e-office hours, I will be online having my email open so that I can see any emails coming in. Uh, other than that, if you do happen to call my phone number, my office phone number, I check that periodically, uh, approximately about two to three days each, and um, I will get back to you, but unfortunately, it probably is not as efficient or as effective as contacting me by email. Once again, I welcome you to World Civilizations 2. I hope you enjoy the course, and I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.